hey guys so in this lecture we'll understand what are value converters in wpf now if you are developing an application using mvpm pattern there are many certain scenarios where you need to change the value of your model and display it onto your screen in a changed form the model the underlying value of the model does not change but you need to change the appearance of that value say suppose your model is providing you true or false or your uh, model has a function which returns true and false and you need to display it as yes or no so this could be done with the help of value converters in wpf now this uh, the scenario what i explained you could be achieved with uh, many uh, validations also in the view model but uh, often it gets complex for mvvm developer to understand why these values are being converted onto the model so that's why uh, we use a separate interface in wpf and it is called i value converter so to convert all your values on uh, from your model and to display out on your screen we use value converters in wpf so let's jump into our slides and look through a example so if we want to convert the value of a data binding operation into an alternative format we could create a custom class that implements the i value converter interface of the system dot windows dot data namespace so this interface defines two members convert and convert back that allows us to perform the conversion to and from the target and destination so what do i mean by this point is uh, is that that each and interface each and every interface has certain methods defined in it right just like i command interface it has two methods execute and can execute and the example i have showed you in my previous lecture so similarly this interface also has two methods convert and convert back so whatever value is coming on to your model that should be converted into certain other value right so that value will be converted with the help of convert function and then again if you need to uh, if you are using two way data binding and again you need to convert that value back to its original value you can use convert back function okay so convert helps us to manipulate the data binding that is done on to our code and change change values now convert back as as i explained to you does the opposite but is done with two way bindings only so it's very logical that if you are using a one way binding there is no point of using convert back function right and if you are using two way data bindings so you uh, you can use convert back functions also so it uh, clearly depends on your requirements so we will be working with the same application what we worked uh, in my previous lecture the mvm practical uh, application so in that application let's try to implement value converters so let's jump into visual studio so you can see it is the same application what we developed in our previous lecture so let's try to run this and show you okay so let me enter john and let me enter smith and let's submit this okay so uh, let's say there is a requirement that uh, we need another column in here to also include the date in which this john smith was added into our grid okay date and time so this could be achieved with the help of value converters this can also be achieved with the help of view model now we can write a command for it separate command for it but for sake of this demo i am explaining this uh, requirement with the help of value converter so the first and foremost thing what we need to do is just like this view model view and model and this command folder i need to add a folder that has that converter okay so let me add a new folder in here and it says converter so these all uh, things are standard so generally converters and commands are added separately uh, they are part of view model their implementation is part of view model but they need to be added separately just to uh, have a very cleaner code okay so let's add a class to it and let's say it date converter so let's have date converter class added and let me first have the i value converter interface implemented okay you can see it does not find the namespace so let's uh, import this namespace it uh, it is uh, present in system.windows.data namespace so let me have that namespace in here and let me now implement this interface so you can see there are two functions in it convert and convert back right so we will be working with this convert function so you can see these there are certain parameters which pass, which are passed in uh, to this 
convert function so the main parameters what we will be working is the value so value is the uh, value of the means whatever value you need to change uh, say suppose it's first name last name or true or false that represents the value part so that parameter is called as value okay then we have target type uh, then we have a object parameter so this is the same parameter what we defined the, it is much like the same parameter what we defined in our command and then it has something called as culture info so if you are developing an application in english language or say japanese language or french language so you need to define that culture in here so we will not be def uh, working with these three parameters right now it's the purpose because the purpose of this lecture is just to make you understand what are uh, converters in wpf and how to use them right so let me now write some code in here so let me have this value parameter in here so whatever the value will be coming say suppose my date is coming that will be stored on to this value parameter okay so i'm just using this value parameter in here and let me store this value in a date time variable so let me call this variable as date and let me store this value in onto our date variable okay you can see there is some error in here it says uh, cannot implicitly convert object to system uh, date time because this value is the object so let's type cast this value so it says date time okay and now my error goes away okay so now this value will be assigned to this date variable okay now let me have this value values value changed again so i will say this date time dot today so what i'm doing i'm first assigning this values value to this date and then i'm assigning to this values value i'm just assigning this today's date okay and then i will simply return this date dot to string so i will just return the to string format of this date and i will use this overload of this to string format so it uh, it expect it expects a string format parameter so i will supply a string format pattern so y y y so whatever will be added onto that grid control will be in the this pattern okay dd mmm and y y y okay so what i am doing i am using this value i am storing it onto date then i am on this date variable i am giving this today's date and then i am returning the date onto this format a very simple code right so our converter is ready and i am not using this return uh, convert back function so i am just i will just return a value i will just write this okay this function will not be used okay so my my converter is ready now now let's go to our person class now since uh, you had three values uh, first name full uh, first name last name and full name so you had three properties corresponding to those uh, grid columns right now let's have a another property so let me have another property in here so i will have date time property the return type of that property will be date time i will say this property name as date added okay so my property is ready now this will be representing another column in my grid okay now all i need to do is change my main window or my view so first let me have the namespace added just like view model namespace because i had a view model folder associated with in my application i will have a another namespace so i will have xms converter so i am naming this namespace as converter okay and let me search now the class so here it goes mmm practical dot converter okay so i my application has got the namespace 
now it can refer this converter folder in here okay and let me add another resource onto this window.resources so i will just say converter and date converter so my class is recognizing this uh, converter class also my xaml is recognizing this converter class let me give it a key so that i can bind it as a static resource so it has my converter okay so the key is my converter so my converter namespace is ready i am using a key for that namespace also now let's add a grid view column in here so let me copy this column and let me paste it in here let's rename it the header so date added okay and what's the name of my property it's date added so let me copy this property and go to main windows ml and copy it in here okay and now i need to associate my converter to this property so i will just uh, give a comma after this binding and have the converter attribute okay so converter equals how will bind the converter i have given a key to my converter so i will bind it as a static resource so let you let's use a static resource markup extension and you can see it recognizes my converter so i have used the my converter key also so our requirement is complete now let's try to run this application and see how it works so here's my application let's add john let's add smith you can see i don't have any text box for the date explicitly and let's add this through this submit button and you can see john smith full name is john smith and then date added is added on to this grid view column okay and it's 18 september 2016 and how i'm getting this column in here so this grid view column so date added is in here converter is associated in here and i'm binding this property the date property onto this display member binding grid column so it's a very simple code for uh, this application okay now you might be wondering that why i have used value converter i could have used any simple property and associated with it it with a uh, button command right just like submit command i can add a another logic onto that submit command that add this date also right but the thing is uh, to change the value whenever we need okay now see suppose i need to change the format of this date okay so it is something that depends on your requirement so different clients give you different requirements that i want this format to be displayed onto the screen uh, for your date so that's why i've used this as a date converter so let's try to change this format let's have here mmm and let's add have here dd okay let's try to run this now and see whether my format has changed or not so john smith let's submit and you can see the month is in front then the date then the year okay so this is the reason why i have used a date converter uh, just to change the format okay so this is a very good practice if you need to change certain values onto your model and then display onto your screen you need to use value converters so what i am i am converting again and again i am i can convert the format of my date again and again whenever i need so i just need to change the value in here and then it will be displayed onto the screen so there was no change for me in my view model okay so often your code can con get complex if you need to change the values again and again onto your view model that's why we have a separate interface a separate folder a separate class for doing this thing okay i hope the concept of date converter or the value converter is clear in your mind so let's get back to our slides and these are all the points what i have listed for you okay so just practice once and you will get a full understanding of value converters in wpf so thank you so much guys for listening if you have any doubt please leave a comment below and please do subscribe to my channel thanks so very much